Hello, welcome back to the auditorium. My name is Jesse. If something looks different, it's because I'm not wearing black. I know, it's weird, but it's cold and I need a jacket. So today's video is going to be a Patreon request from Red Blaze 27 They are going to be requesting Castlevania Curse of Darkness, and the song is called Abandoned Castle. Now, my experience with Castlevania is very limited. I believe the only songs that I know by name are Bloody Tears, and Vampire Killer, that's about it. There's a good chance I've heard s some of them, but I don't know the names. So this could be the first time I, I know a song and don't know it, but unlikely. <laughs> so Patreon request for Red Blaze 27. I'm excited. Castlevania Curse of Darkness, released in 2005. Abandoned Castle. Here we go. Well, there are the organs. That's a cool riff. Layer upon layer upon layer. Very gothic. I have not heard this before. So, that's good. <laughs> I'm just listening right now. Trying to picture the scenery. Love me some guitar. I love me some organ. Love the... Uh, Tempo. I heard a double bass in there. Ooh. Again? Oh, it went lower. Okay. That was cool. I kind of wanted that to repeat. Hopefully I get to hear it again. There it is. Wow, there's a lot of riffs on top of each other. And there's another one. The effect on that keyboard is so... This is perfect for Halloween. This is perfect for Halloween. If you guys are having a Halloween party, put this in your playlist. What's coming? What's coming? Ooh, that was a cool little symbol action from the drummer. The drummer's doing a lot, actually.
They do such a good job of getting that gothic, stained glass feel. Vampires and... Oh, this, this is right, this is the sauce right here. I like this. I may possibly have a surprise for you once the song is over. I have to look it up. But there may be something. What a cool, like, constant energy of that song. Okay, well, you know what? Before I get to my thoughts, let me do some YouTube magic so I can research something because I think it's quite relevant. So hold on for just a second. Lo and behold, I got a nugget of information. So check this out and I promise you, I do not know this until right now, but I had a feeling. So uh, this is so, this is, this is kind of eerie. So you know how sometimes I suggest songs that kind of like remind me of what I'm listening to? Not always, but sometimes. On, on everything, I swear, I was going to say, this reminds me a lot of this song called Dirge of the Divine Trinity. And that's on the Skullgirls soundtrack. Skullgirls is a amazing artistic fighting game that came out a couple years ago. Check it out. But the soundtrack is incredible. Also, I'm in the credits. But the, the there's two. I think there's like two or three composers in that, and one of them is Michiru Yamani. I think that's how you say it. Michiru Yam Yamani wrote this one. I did kind of know that through the grapevine that the Skullgirl soundtrack had uh, the same composer as Castlevania. And lo and behold, <laughs> they wrote the exact, they wrote both songs. So the song that I was going to suggest to you sounds literally like brothers with this one because it's the same composer. So Small World. I thought that was quite fascinating. So enjoy that song. Besides that, I really did like the constant driving rhythm it had. It could never really slow down. You know, there was parts where it, I guess technically like slowed down, but you know, the tempo's still there and the energy's still there. So it contrasts really well. The drums were, uh, I talk about drums a lot, I've noticed. But the drummer, I mean, you have to give it up. They're keeping the time and he was doing a lot. He was doing a lot of fills. He was doing, it wasn't like too loud, but you know, there was a lot of cymbal stuff going on, a lot of fills, really cool stuff. Um, the constant organ and the electric guitar, like like peanut butter and jelly in the song. They Like Castlevania soundtracks, from from what I've heard so far, they really do such a great job of like putting you in that setting, right? Like the, like I said earlier, like the stained glass and the I can just see monsters and Dracula and all. I just I, I feel that the gothic nature of the organ and uh, just those little you know da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da, da -da 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 -da, like those tension type of uh, melodies. They just they kill it. So this was this was great. <laughs> this is right up my alley. And then that song I mentioned earlier. That's one of my favorite songs off of one of my favorite video game albums, OSTs. So this is uh, tickling me in ways that, yeah. So thank you so much, Redblaze27. I appreciate it. And I hope you enjoy that uh, song and listen to that whole OST, by the way. The same goes for the rest of you. If you would like to get your request in, just like Redblaze did, you can do so with all these wonderful souls that I possess. I'm just kidding. Or you can uh, donate on PayPal if you want to just do like a one-time thing and not subscribe. Although, if you do subscribe on Patreon, you do get early access and people seem to like that. So, something to consider. Uh, not necessary, but it does guarantee you that I check out your song. And as you can see, there's quite a list. So, that being said, dudes and dudettes, send me some more Castlevania. I have one coming, actually. Spoiler, it's from Symphony of the Night. That's all I'm going to say. So, but you guys also send me stuff. 
Until next time, happy Halloween, dudes and... I was trying to think of a, a spooky word for dudettes. I'll think of one after, I'm sure. Take it easy.